Today's video, we're going to be breaking down my offense and my defense in Madden NFL 16. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, today, we're talking about our offensive and defensive guys we've got on the horizon and um, what we're really looking to accomplish with these uh, next two guides is a little bit more depth um, than what we went into on the last guides and we're going to actually be doing the same playbooks um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I think uh, and, and I really I mean I really just truly believe that uh, we want to get depth not width and what I mean by that statement um, is we want to get deeper uh, we don't necessarily want to get wider we don't have to learn a whole new playbook uh, but what we're going to try to accomplish is we're going to try to learn the same playbook uh, a little bit deeper, a little bit better, uh, with some adjustments as the years gone on, as we've seen what you know guys are wanting to accomplish, um, you know, offensively and defensively. We are going to you know adapt. We're going to expand. We're going to we're going to kind of build. Um, and um, so, you know, I really am I'm pretty happy with this um, for the most part. Um, there's a couple of things I still want to fix. Um, but uh, I'm really happy with the defense. I'm, and, and you know, as you guys know, I I, I love the defensive side of the ball. Um, but I'm really happy with what we've got here for you guys. Um, I just think it's really effective, and um, I just can't wait to share it with you guys. I think it's really good. Uh, I think it's going to show you some some different tactics um, than you're used to seeing. Uh, we've got a really uh, a ton of good things that we're doing. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, um, one of those is um, uh, one second here. Gotta focus here. Um, but one of those is uh, inside zone run defense. Um, specific plays designed to stop specific things. Um, you know, with the rise of the fullback dive and the rise of all of that. Um, you know, it, it really, I don't know, I mean, you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm excited to share this with you guys, because the game of Madden is, is so simple, but at the same time, it's very complex. Um, and what I mean by that statement is the fact that, you know, we're, we, we're going to give you the blueprint, we're going to give you pressure from both edges, and we're going to give you, and that's the blueprint, Ever you'll be able to have, uh, you know, a formation that sends pressure from both edges, um, be able to, you know, get the quick pressure, and, and then also be able to play coverage out of that and be able to have run defense, so that's kind of the power, um, you know, things we, we want to look for every year, and, um, you know, this year it's obviously it's no different. Um, but what is different, in my opinion, is the way that we apply these um, so-called power plays. And uh, and so that's really what I'm excited about, um, is to share with you defensively some of the adjustments we've made, some of the situational play calling. Um, you know, I, I, that's really what I'm really going to be excited to share with you guys uh, as this guy progresses. Um, we're going to show you how to stop A-gap blitzes as well. We're going to um, share with you some of our, our content on that. We're going to show you how to beat man coverage. Uh, we're going to expand. Uh, when we talk offense, we're going to we're going to expand on what we did last year, or not last year, but last guide. Um, and, I, and I really, really think that it's it's going to be really effective for you guys, and I think you're going to have a lot of success with it, uh, to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, it's going to fix a lot of the issues with the previous guide, and uh, and so that's really what I'm excited for, is just the fact that we're going to fix issues. And um, we're still working things out, as you can see. I mean... I'm uh, still working on some reads and things. Um, I'm trying to figure out kind of how I want to teach the reads because the offense is going to, you know, we're going to get deeper, and so we're going to show you a couple of other mini schemes. Uh, we're not going to be so inclusive on the um, on the idea of four wide receivers um, as we were because we've already shown you some of that stuff. What we are going to do is we're going to show you um, kind of our uh, kind of our our core. Uh, our core plays, our power plays from a lot of formations, and so, you know, we're going to show you the, um, we're going to show you, uh, you know, plays from the, from the snugs, uh, and that's probably the, you know, the most power, uh, as far as power plays, I mean, that's, that's the main one, uh, that I'm going to be ta talking about a lot, um, is the snugs, and how to use it effectively, uh, it's very simple this year, 
but in my opinion, it's also very complex. It's kind of it's kind of interesting the way it's going to work. But it's it, it really you know offensively, I did a whole a whole overhaul to the Arizona Guide, and uh, and really I hope to bring you some content that's really going to show you some interesting things. And we're basing it on um, this idea called the constraint theory. Uh, and what the constraint theory says, and what it's basically all about, is this idea that having multiple routes and going different areas, but looking, keeping that same look. Uh, and the cool part about this is it really goes hand in hand with our defensive stuff, um, but we're now doing it on the offensive side of the ball. Some of the things we, you know, had been teaching, um, you know, for so long on the defensive side of the ball. We're now applying those things to the offensive side of the ball, and we, we really couldn't be happier with the results that we found. Um, you know, really, it, it's just been great, guys, and, and, and I really can't wait to share um, some of the things uh, that, I, that I've that i kind of learned, um, you know, in my time here. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, obviously there's always things to learn. And uh, so, but we just, we keep learning, we keep evolving. Um, one of the things we're really starting to, to work into um, is route combinations. Um, and, and, and really, I probably wasn't as good at that before, and I'll be completely honest with you. Um, you know, normally I was really good at finding five routes that beat man under, but, you know, you know can you beat the cover two from the same play can you beat the cover four can you beat the cover six and I think I was good at that on my own terms but as far as teaching that in the videos I, I may not have been as good and so we're going to show you some of that um, with this def or with this offense as well um, as you know as it, and really you know we're still going to cover the base we're still going to cover the core of what we do and that's the bunch ace that's the the snugs those are kind of the core power plays that we have um, and, and they're still there. Um, but the cool part about this is it's going to expand and expound, and you're going to be able to run, um, you know, split close. You're going to be able to run doubles. You're going to be able to run bunch. You're going to be able to run uh, ace offset, as you saw us trying to come out in earlier, um, and some of the things we're going to be doing from that um, that formation. And so you're just going to be able to do all of these things. And, and so I'm just really, really excited to share with you guys. I can't wait to get uh, the guide finished for you. Uh, I'm hoping to have it finished uh, right now, I'm shooting for next week, um, hoping to get everything done for you. It's going to be similar format. I'm uh, just going to be a written guy with videos. I mean, it's really all I can, all I can really do to be honest. I mean, I don't know what else she would want me to do, but uh, we're going to elaborate some more on the defense. Um, we're going to show you some new formations as well. Um, I don't think we broke down the dime. Um, I don't normally come out of this three three five. I'll be honest with you. That's kind of my bread and butter. Um, but we're going to go ahead and show you 4-3 under because it's very popular defense in this year's game. So I want to give you access to it if you already understand. Uh, we're also going to have a couple of other things that we do from it um, that's probably going to be pretty beneficial in my opinion to you. And so we really look forward to sharing that as well with you. But uh, just some of the things we're going to be able to share, I'm really, really excited for. Uh, we're going to show you some things with Mutt. Uh, I'll break down my team and why I pick the players I pick. Um, I don't have the best player at every position. My team's actually um, not very highly rated overall, um, but we're able to really produce a pretty good result, pretty good results in my opinion, especially for our rating. Um, uh, so I can't really, you know, express all that to you, but I'm just really excited to share it, and um, and so we're going to hop into that as well, but. Um, uh, we got burned over the middle there. That was my fault. Bad users. But um, yeah, we're gonna show you this dime one four six. We're gonna show you the we're gonna show you the nickel fifty five odd work. Not gonna break down the rest of the nickel because it hasn't changed any. I haven't really expanded upon it to be honest. Um, but what I have done is um, expanded on um, the three three five odd a lot. Uh, I've also got a couple of specific play calls. Um, for specific situations that I use um, out of this out of this book um, to stop run you know stop certain things um, and so I, I I will share that of course uh, with you, with you guys like you know I'm really excited to um, be honest um, because I think it's gonna shed some light on how to stop some things we're gonna show you kind of that tactic what you just saw there as well how to stop those streaks uh, and so we're just gonna try to really you know secure um, 
secure the first guide um, in doing this. And, and like I said, you know, if you if you haven't purchased the first guide, I'll go ahead and just purchase the second one. Um, and you know, honestly, I mean, you may want to go ahead and get the first one just because it's going to give you some context um, for what we're doing in the second one. But you won't be totally lost, to be honest. I mean, you really won't be lost at all. You shouldn't be. Um, and the whole point of it is that you, you aren't lost. Uh, we have a new run defense, as you see here. Um, and it's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, it does a pretty good job um, at stopping inside zones. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but it, it, is, it is fairly effective, in my opinion. Uh, PA... And Hayward makes a nice play for us, but it, it in my opinion, it, it does a really good job. Um, I also want to talk about split close, so I'll run it real quick for you guys. Um, but the gun split close, um, one of the things that we really like in this in this Arizona playbook that we didn't really break down much before is the gun split close. Uh, and so some of the things we're going to show you um, is going to is going to come from the gun split close. We're going to show you how to use it um, and, and, and certain things you want to look for. Uh, we're also going to show you how to really make it a very effective formation even if the opponent is running man. Uh, most people only use the split close. It's kind of like a zone beater. Um, but we're going to show you how to use it uh, to beat man coverage. And uh, so, so I'm really excited um, to share that with you as well. Um, you know, the offense just really works well uh, as a whole, um, and the defense does too. Uh, we worked uh, on got, getting some 4-3 under for you guys, like I said. Um, we also worked on getting some fullback dive defense, some QB sneak defense, and things like that. So if you guys are having trouble stopping any of that stuff, uh, be sure to check the guide out. We also have the same power plays we always have um, with good base plays and things like that. So just really, really excited to share that with you guys. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. Just want to show you a quick little uh, gameplay and kind of illustrate some of the things here. Um, so much more to come in the guide. But uh, anyways, guys, just wanted to show it to you and uh, talk a little bit about it. But we're going to be getting that out to you shortly. So um, if you don't have the first guide, uh, you may want to go ahead and purchase that just because it's going to help you kind of get some context. And it's in the description if you want to look at that. If you already have it, um, then I would maybe watch it again or something and then be so you're ready for the next guide. Because the next guide, guys, I'm telling you right now, uh, it's it's really good. It's it, it really is, and um, in my opinion, it, it it's an expansion upon uh, what was probably already the best defense in the game. So can't wait to break it down for you, um, and we're gonna show you a couple things with it that's really unique to it as well. So thanks for your time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, like I said, I hope you'll check out those guides for me. Really appreciate it.